uh, what is light what do you think it is uh, don't know about it <laughs> What is light? What is light? Uh, what do you think it is? Uh, light is made. It's either on particles or uh, sorry, I don't remember exactly, but it's form of energy. How do we see things? Well, light enters our eyes after reflecting from an object. Then we see light. What is speed of light? Ah, uh, three into ten is to eight. Uh, how do we know that? How do we know that? Uh, there is the experiment that Michael said all the experiment. Is it constant? Yeah. How do we know that? What's that? Is it constant the speed of light? I really don't know. I I think so. Yes. How did we calculate it? Okay, wait. Now I remember my class 10 science. No, it's not constant. It's gonna change like that refraction phenomena and all other things. Reflection, refraction. Yeah, yeah. It it's not constant. It changes. What is the speed of light? 3.0 to 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So, how do you know that? Hard. In study in class. Uh, What is difference between blue light and red light? Uh, blue light and red light. I think. Do I mean light? It consists of. I mean white light consists of uh, seven colors. So I think those are the I mean the different spectrums. I mean. Uh, do you know the speed of light? Ah, speed of light is is uh, is the is the faster speed. Is the uh, it's faster than uh, sound speed. What do you think? How would he have known that speed of light is constant? Uh, I said so. Uh, in the Michael's only experiment, they have demonstrated that. Is it constant? Uh, it's constant. Uh, how do we know that? Um, because we have been studying is. It as a constant, I think so. <laughs> so, what is difference between blue light and red light? What is the difference between blue light and red light? Um, not. Uh, what is difference between red light and blue light? The wavelengths. But how can wavelengths produce a difference in color? Because uh, greater wavelength scatters so much. For example, red light has. Do you want to say anything? Yeah, means greater wavelength, less in scatter. That's why uh, red uh, in uh, red light, yeah. At uh, how do you think that scientists would have discovered that light is constant because it seems it is instantaneous? No idea. Do you have any guess how earlier scientists might have discovered this? No idea about that. The question of what light is have been long asked for centuries, and the development of optics extends to as far as ancient Egyptians. The speed of light in vacuum is about two ninety nine million seven ninety two thousand and four fifty eight meters per second, a figure that scientists finally agreed upon in nineteen seventy five. But why settle on this figure? For centuries, the speed of light was thought to be instant. It just appeared instantaneously without any delay. But this idea was seriously challenged in 1600s by a Dutch scientist named Isaac Beckman, who set up a series of mirrors around a gunpowder explosion to see if there's any difference between the flashes of light. But unfortunately for Beckman and the progress of science, the result was inconclusive. In 1629, a Danish astronomer named Ole Romer, who also invented the modern-day thermometer with two fixed points, who was working as an assistant of Cassini. Now he observed a strange phenomenon. He was observing the eclipses of Jupiter's moon Io. Now he noticed a strange variation of them over the course of year. Sometimes it appeared too early and sometimes too late. And from this, he concluded that the speed of light must be constant because it seemed like that the light took longer time to travel when the Jupiter and Earth were the farthest than it took when they were the closest. Now he gave a rough estimate of speed of light at about 220 million meters per second, which is not a bad estimate at all because at the time he calculated that. Considering the data, it wasn't all that accurate. Now, with further experiments, physicists came closer and closer to the actual number. And then, in mid 1800s, physicist 
James Clerk Maxwell gave his famous Maxwell's equations, which were the way of measuring electric and magnetic field in vacuum. Maxwell's equations fixed the electric and magnetic properties to the empty space. And after noting the speed of the massless electromagnetic radiation, which came very close to the supposedly speed of light at that time, Maxwell suggested that they might exactly match. And Maxwell was right. For the first time in the history of science, we were able to measure the speed of light based on the other universal constants. At the same time, Maxwell's work suggested that light was itself an electromagnetic radiation. And this idea was later confirmed and got picked up by Albert Einstein in 1905 in his special theory of relativity. Today, the speed of light, or C as it is commonly known, is considered to be the cornerstone of Einstein's special theory of relativity. Now, unlike space and time, the speed of light is constant, independent of the observer. But the story doesn't quite end here. Thanks to quantum mechanics, it kinda suggests that the universe might not be as constant as we think it is. The quantum field theory says that empty space is never quite empty. It's filled with elementary particles which constantly pop in and out of existence. Now, new studies suggest that these elementary particles could potentially cause the speed of light to vary by a little. But studies are going on and we really can't say much about that. But for now, the speed of light is really the ultimate constant of the universe. And finally guys, thanks for watching.